Hi, today we're going to be using the witness protection filter to hide some moving faces and objects in Magic's Vegas 14. Witness protection is part of the match move unit that is included in the suite version of Vegas. Also included are two other units, key and blend and 3D objects. Please note that these units are only included with the suite version and not the other pro versions of Vegas. For this tutorial, we'll just be working with the witness protection filter, which includes the Academy Award winning Mocha masking and tracking options. The footage we're using today is provided by our friends at Artbeats. Normally when making this type of effect, we'd have to do a lot of masking and keyframing by hand, and that can be frustrating work. But using Boris Witness Protection can save hours of time while you work on a shot. And the final look is also much smoother than anything that can be done by hand. We're going to start by tracking the motion of a license plate and blurring the license number. First we'll apply the effect, which can be found in the Match Move folder, and then go to our effect editor and launch Mocha. This takes us into a separate window where we can have a lot more control over the motion tracking and other parameters. It might look very complicated compared to what you're used to in your editor, but it's actually very easy to use. We'll start by clicking on the pen tool at the top. This works very much like similar tools in Photoshop or Illustrator. And we'll make four points around the license plate and then right click and that will release and complete the shape. Up in the layer controls, we'll highlight this shape and rename it license plate to differentiate it from any other shapes we might make later on. Going down to the timeline, I'll click the track forwards button. This starts the actual motion tracking process. And you'll see with minimal work, this automatically does a great job tracking the license plate. Now we'll go to the top and click on the planar surface tool. This won't change any of the rendering, but used in conjunction with the surface grid, it's very helpful in showing us whether the motion tracking stayed on the correct plane. We'll adjust the planar surface a little bit, and you'll see when we play back that the motion tracking is doing a great job lining everything up with the proper plane, which would be the back of the car. Up here, we're going to turn on layer mats. Now that we know that the motion itself is good, this is helpful in showing that the license plate is covered the entire time. Now we'll go up here and save the Mocha project and go back to the host program. And once we render, you'll see that the blur has been applied exactly the way we wanted. Besides blur, there are a few other looks we can select from for witness protection. There's also mosaic, brightness contrast, and tint. And each of these has its own set of sliders for adjusting the strength and look of the witness protection. I've decided I want to go back and hide the make and model of the car. I'll launch Mocha again, and then I'll draw two shapes like before. Notice this made a green keyframe marker, and this doesn't affect this project dramatically, but keyframes will play a big part of the next shot we're going to work on. Now that I've drawn my shapes to cover the make and model, I can go back and rename the layers as such to keep things organized. Now, rather than tracking these separately, I can link them to the motion we already have for the license plate. Since the make and model are on the same plane as the license plate, it should just work. We'll show the layer mats again and confirm that everything looks good. Save the project and go back to Vegas. And after a render, you can see everything has blurred perfectly. This next shot's a little more of a challenge since the two people are moving in different planes, so we'll have to track their faces separately. And besides that, this is a more visually complex scene. With the camera moving, there's several planes moving all at the same time. And again, I'm going to make my shapes like before and cover their faces. And I'll rename the layer to female face. And for the type of motion here, there are some checkboxes. I'm only going to use translation, since the shape of the face is pretty constant. And I'll draw the shape for the guy's face and add a few points. 
and rename his layer, and make sure only translation is checked for his layer. Now Mocha's doing a great job tracking their faces, but we'll want to make a little fine adjustment here. And as you can see, it makes a little green keyframe here. And we're going to fix both her face and his face. And this one keyframe will keep the shape of the mask over their faces. I'll show the layer mats again and give it a quick check. It looks like this covers their faces pretty well. Save it, go back to Vegas, and I think this time we'll use the mosaic option. We'll select the right size blocks for the face, make sure they're not too big or too small, and add some feathering. And we'll render it. And as you can see, the motion tracking worked perfectly, blurring the faces even though they were moving on separate planes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and don't forget Boris Continuum Complete is also available for Premiere, After Effects, Media Composer, Final Cut Pro X, Motion, Resolve, Fusion, Nuke, and Catalyst. This is Nathan Ryan, signing off.